Well, hey there, WOW friends. Welcome to your practice today. I'm Adele Kingham from the Wellbeing Weekly. This week, I've got a really invigorating, inspiring 30-minute practice for you. We start off with a nice, pacey flow to get everything moving, so anything that's stagnant in the body, we really get to clear it out. Like, you know, that moment when you wake up and the room's a bit stuffy and you open the window and you get a big breath of fresh air. Well, that's what we start to invoke in our practice. And then we bring that right down to get into all the good parts of the hips, front, side, and back. So if in an area where we tend to feel a bit stuck or a bit stagnant, we stuff a whole bunch of things down on into the hips and we really start to free it up in this practice. So you can move into your week reinvigorated, re-inspired with a bit more sense of ease and freedom. Well, that's my hope for you. There's nothing you need for this practice except for your beautiful self, your willingness to move and breathe, and your yoga mat. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start straight on in, in child's pose. Just take a moment or two once you plop yourself down on your mat to ascertain what would feel really nice for your hips and your spine. If it's particularly early in the morning, you do want to be really aware of what's going on in your spine because it does swell overnight. So you do need to spend a little bit of time waking it up and warming it up. I'm going to go with big toes together, knees wide. It's something I quite like to really feel this sense of pouring the torso forwards and really allowing the belly to settle. Creating a little bit more room and space to really amplify the breath, really inspire my practice with the breath. So you can spend a little bit of time here wriggling your way around to find a nice place to settle into. And once you really land there, consciously fuel it up, fill it up with a big full breath in. And a long, easeful breath out. You can walk your hands off over to one side, really opening up the breath potential through that side. That you're stretching open. As you stretch open there, you can stretch out the breath. through the middle and off over to the other side of your mat, seeing what's available to you there, anything that feels sticky or tight. The fullness of the in-breath can start to open that up. The length of the out-breath can carry away with it any of that stickiness, any of that debris, any of that stress. Back through center. And walking your hands back towards your legs, setting yourself up into all fours, spreading through your fingers, firming your arms, firming your legs so your limbs can be nice strong levers to start to really wake up the spine as you start to curl and arch, bringing conscious breath into conscious movement. And I like the inhale as I come into cow pose, lifting the chest, lifting the tail. And the exhale as I round into cat. But you might do the breath in the opposite way. It's really up to you. Go for a way that feels inspiring for the movement. So the breath initiates the movement. A way that feels really freeing and easeful. And that might take you into something like rolling the hips, caroling the ribs might be sinking side to side. So you assemble all the tools of your practice. Skin, muscle, bone, organs, all these layers being enlivened by your breath. Allow that to carry you up to down dog, walk your hands a handprint in front of you so you can have a nice long spine when you come up into down dog with really strong limbs, strong arms, strong legs to start to free up the spine, free up the breath. You might undulate here a little bit, really find lifting the hips and bending the knees is a really nice practice to start to find a little bit more room and space. Then settle yourself in your down dog. Plug into your finger pads. Find that length and breadth all through your body. That your breath is inspiring within you. Expansive, full and free. Big breath in. 
Long breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. I'm mirroring you. Exhale, lower your right leg down. Keep your arms straight and strong. Nothing changes in the arms as you change the weight in the legs. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. This time, bend the right knee, point the right knee to the ceiling. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee, point it up to the ceiling. And then lower it down. Keep going like that. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, point it up to the ceiling. Now pause here. You can play with reaching your toe tips around to your left hand pinky finger. You could come down onto that left forearm and take a little peek under your right elbow. Find all those places and spaces to really amplify your breath. Get big voluminous breath and float you back up to your three-legged dog. And exhale, lower the right leg. Straight strong arms. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee. And give a little wriggle round there. Maybe come down onto your right forearm. You can peek under that left armpit. Big inhale to float you up so it can be effortless. And exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhale, right leg up. This time, exhale, step your right foot between your hands and then step your left foot forwards as well. Come to a standing forward fold. You have all that energy pulsing through your body now. See if you can settle and ground it through your legs. Very clear in how you place your feet. That clarity of intent will really inform the beauty, the inspiration, the sense of ease and freedom in your practice. And then bring your hands to your hips, shoulders on your back, legs stay straight and strong. Inhale, float all the way up to stand. And exhale. Find yourself upright. Again, any movement you feel you need to keep sinking up with the possibility of your breath. Maybe that's coming into stillness. So you can really feel the pulse and the expanse of the inhale. And the slight condensing, drawing in of the exhale as the breath releases out. You start to feel the source point of your breath, the source point of you with that. Good, take that with you. Inhale, reach your arms wide and high. Exhale, keep space in the back of your knees as you go really long and pour yourself forward. On your inhale, hands to outer shins, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, right knee to the sticky mat. Fingertips, inhale, look forward, lift your heart. Exhale, plant your hands, down dog. Inhale, sweep that right leg high to the sky. Sorry, the left leg. And exhale, step your left foot back forward. So step the foot that you just lifted up, step it back forwards again. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, dive on forwards, push off that back foot, fold at the top of your mat. Just come straight on up. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, dive straight back down into it. All the way fold. Hands to outer shins, inhale halfway. This time exhale, step your left foot back, left knee to the sticky mat. On fingertips, inhale, curl the heart up, look forwards. Exhale, clearly plant your hands, lift your hips, sweep that leg all the way up, three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, step that same foot back forwards. Keep the back knee off this time. Inhale, reach up. Look up, strong legs, light and breath. Exhale, plant your hands, push off that back leg, fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale and fold, straight back down. Hands to outer shins, inhale, fill up, get light and buoyant. 
exhale, step your right foot back, right knee to the sticky mat. Inhale, float with the expanse of your breath. So I'm reaching your arms all the way up. Exhale, plant your hands, lift your hips. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. This time, bend the left knee open. Point it to the ceiling. Long exhale. Inhale, re-square the left leg straight. Exhale, step your left foot forwards. Keep the back knee off. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, push off the back foot, fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, come all the way up, lead with the breath. It's your dance partner. Exhale, fold straight back down. Hands to outer shins, inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your left foot back, left knee to the sticky mat. This time, arms float up, big full breath in. Exhale, long breath out, plant the hands, lift the hips. Inhale, vacuum from the sole of your right foot, sweep it all the way up. Exhale, bend the right knee, point it up to the ceiling, open up. Inhale, re-square the right leg straight. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. You can always give it a helping hand with that right hand. Back knee stays off. Inhale, take flight. Exhale, push off the back foot, fold at the top of your mat. Hands to outer shins, inhale halfway. Take a little reset here, exhale bow. Remind yourself of the source point of your breath in case you lost it in that last little bit. Inhale halfway. Exhale bow. Again, inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Good, inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, dive back down. Inhale, halfway. This time, exhale, step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. Get nice and strong, heavy in your legs, but that lightness, the buoyancy, the inspiration of your breath gives you this balanced action here, so you're not just completely kind of sagging and hanging down in your legs. Look at your feet. You're going to spin the back heel down. So you line up heel of front foot with arch of back foot. Really inflate that back leg with the power and fullness of your breath all the way along from the left lung all the way down the leg. Right leg bends towards the square. You want to keep that right knee parked over your second and third toes and your right foot. And you're going to walk your hands around to the corner of your mat. So you're just going to come off to the corner of your mat on the right diagonal. Sorry, the left diagonal for you. And you can take your hands like you would for downward facing dog. You feel the strength in your legs, the lightness in your breath. You can give it a little wiggle. You can notice what's going on in the inner line of the legs there. All the warmth starting to bubble and percolate through you. you nod your head, shake your head. And then inhale, lift up in your torso, look forwards. And exhale, pivot that right foot. So both legs are parallel. So you come all the way around to the long edge of your mat, all the way around from the front around to the right. Strong legs. Inhale, halfway lift, look forwards. Exhale and bow. Inhale, halfway lift, look forwards. Exhale, bow. And one more like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Even as you fold, you keep this sense of lift and lightness and buoyancy. Allow that to travel all the way through your body. Empowering yourself with the inspiration of the inhale. And the steady ease of the exhale. And then from there, inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, pivot your way around to the front of your mat. Lower the back knee down. Pad up the back knee if you need. We'll be here for a little bit on this side. Inhale, reach your arms wide from the expression of the breath in the sides of your ribs. Exhale, little twist around to the right. 
And it could be back of the right, the left forearm to the outside of the right knee. We can start to snuggle that elbow down, the armpit down. Let's see what's possible, but it's guided by your breath. It's not by you shoving your arms there. The breath has the intelligence. We trust in that. As you start to revolve around And then inhale, come back through center. Walk your right foot off to the right side of your mat. Turn your right foot out about 45 degrees. Big full breath in to lift you up away from your mat, out of your hips, so it gives you lots of room and space. Now clearly roll onto the outside edge of the right foot. On the exhale, rolling onto the outside edge of the foot. Pull the toes back so you're clear in the pathway all the way up to the hip. You're not going to get stuck in the knee or the ankle. Then walk your left hand off to the side of your mat so it's out in a diagonal. Again, so we can be clear in the pathway from the hand all the way up into the lungs and the heart. It's not going to get stuck there either. Then spin your belly and your chest towards your right leg. You can start to iron out your right inner thigh with your right hand. And on your inhale, curl your chest and your head. Look up, lift up. Exhale, little bow towards your leg, head to heart. Then again, inhale, curl up, lift up, look up. And exhale, little bell. Go for ease with the breath. Inhale. And exhale. I find that's a lot more inspiring, a lot more invigorating. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale, reset the right foot. Now listen up, you're going to quarter turn back around to the left side of your mat. Drop that right knee down as well. Take your knees wide. Shins are parallel to each other, parallel to the short edges of your mat. Toes turned out, so there's alignment with ankles straight under the knees and the knees with the hips. If you feel like you need a little bit of extra padding, you could pause the video, go grab a blanket and place a blanket under your legs. And some of you might stay upright here. As you breathe all the way down, the pathway in the hips, down the legs. You can come down onto forearms, you could stack your fists. We won't be here for too long. But it's a really nice little reset for any stagnation in the body mind, any stress. Like you're opening up a window in a stagnant room. You start to breathe in fresh air, fresh inspiration. Allow that to travel all the way through your body, clearing out any gunk, any stale air. Receiving the newness of each inhale, the newness of each moment. That's so refreshing, just acknowledging the newness of that. You're never stuck in one way. Each new breath, a new opportunity. Good, good stuff. On your inhale. Place your hands under your shoulders, press into your hands so you can walk your knees together. Spin your way around to the front of your mat. Now take the right leg, so the same leg, with the right knee all the way out to the side of your mat. So the thigh bone's on a diagonal, the right foot towards the left hip. Check out the left leg, nice and long and straight. I've got a block here, I always have a block handy. Some days I feel like I need a bit of support under the right hip or in front of the left thigh. So I can maintain this sense of balance and ease on both sides. You play with a little lift. Your pigeon prep it as a back bend. If it doesn't feel supportive in your lower back, that's when your blocks come in handy. Or you just slightly pitch yourself forwards. And connect back into the depth and breadth and expanse of your breath. Imagining filling down your belly, filling down your legs to open up that possibility. Really reinvigorate, re-inspire. You 
to be really attentive with any other areas that feel tired or stuck or sticky with that. If you move it through, mobilize any of that stagnation. One more big full breath in. Long cleansing breath out. And roll onto the outside edge of your right hip. Pick up your left leg, drag it around. Hug your knees into your chest. Lift your shins. Flex your feet, spread your toes, reach your arms forward. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Invigorate yourself as you broaden your chest, lift your heart, your lungs supporting your heart to really activate. You could play with lengthening your legs. You could play with releasing down and back up. This is your practice, your time. Be really clear in your intent, really inspiring in your choices, choices that honor you. And one more. And cross your legs up and over, downward facing dog. Have a little wiggle here, feel what you feel, breathe to it, acknowledge it, thank it, it's a part of you. All these things that are enlivening and waking up. And on your inhale, float forwards to plank. Enjoy a few breaths here, and I really do mean that, enjoy that, even if there might be a bit of struggle in plank, can you find a sense of upliftment with the fullness in your lungs, inflating your legs, inflating the skin of your back, with that sense of lift, you don't have to apply as much effort because you're not spending all the time in the front of your body resisting gravity. Get an either down to your knees or exhale full chaturanga. Make it a pose, make it clear, and down to your belly. Float your arms back, fill up your legs, roll your shoulders on your back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, turn your thumbs up to the ceiling, so you really turn on the back of your shoulders. You wake up there. If it feels good, you can float the legs up. Big, full breath in. Exhale, reach in every direction. Toe tips, fingertips, tail and crown. Another inhale. Exhale, reach. Good. Inhale, place your hands. Exhale, press back through child's pose. And inhale, up to down dog. Now we're going to enjoy that sequence on the second side. Step your left foot forwards, get a nice long stride. Look at your feet, spin the back heel down. Use the attentiveness of your breath, permeating, oscillating all through your body to notice where you might be collapsing and leaking the breath out. Widen that front knee, fill up the back leg. So as much as we're getting heavy in the hips, there's a lift. And in the lift, there can be a clear pathway for the breath to travel all the way around your body, like an awakening river of life pouring through every part. Maintain that in your legs as you walk your hands off to the side of your mat, going around to the right side of your mat on the diagonal. I like to be on fingertips because it reminds me of the lift capacity I have to lift up and get buoyant. You can come down onto your arms, onto your hands, sorry as long as you're not collapsing there. Spend a few rounds of breaths here for yourself, discovering what's possible with the strength in your legs, the lightness in your chest. And then inhale, halfway lift, look forwards. Exhale, keep pivoting around to the long side of your mat. Apologies for the butt shot, but I know you're so in your practice that it doesn't matter. Take your feet wide, parallel to the short edges of your mat. Hands under your shoulders. Inhale, curl up, lift up. Exhale, bow. The capacity of that inhale to inspire you, to invigorate you. Go for a big breath in, front side and back. Exhale, clear it out. So anything stagnant, stale, it goes with the exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, bow. Stay in your fold, strong legs, free in your spine. Perhaps even now notice the qualities of the mind space with this very clear 
focused. It's a very inspiring and easeful practice. And keep that with you as you inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, pivot around to the front of your mat, lower down your back knee, your right knee. Get a little bit heavier in your legs, then breath floats you up. Big inhale. Exhale, twist around from that expression of the breath, the expanse of the breath in the right side, and float around into the twist towards your front leg. And it could be the back of the forearm, or if you have that expression from the breath guiding you, you start to nudge towards the armpit. Bring your palms together, lean your head back, your throat back, see what's possible. Without applying undue force, anything that contracts the breath here, anything that agitates you, any pain, make a decision about that. If you're tolerating that, that's interesting information. Go for something more life-affirming. It might be backing off to open up a little bit more breath in the back or the side. And then inhale, release. Walk your front foot off to the side. Turn it out about 45 degrees. Inhale, lift up to create room and space to be very clear with how you roll onto the outside edge of that front foot, like you're karate chopping the mat with your pinky toe edge. Pull the toes back. Take your right hand off to the side. Left hand to iron out your left inner thigh. Then inhale, curl and lift your chest, your heart up, look up. Exhale, bow towards that front leg, head to heart. Inhale, breathe full in the back. That will create a lot of room and space to open up skillfully. Exhale and bow. Inhale, inflate the skin of your back. And float up and ride back on that. Exhale, bow couple more. Lots of volume on the inhale. Invigoration, like you're opening that window in a stagnant room. And exhale, you can settle on into that freshness. And then inhale, reset your front foot. Keep walking your way around to that long edge of your mat. Round to the right. Both knees come down, shins down, shins parallel, toes turned out. Hips over your knees so you're not sitting back. If you found last time was too intense, you can come with your big toes together, more what we call tadpole, the butt is still up, or full frog. Either upright on your hands, forearms, or stacking your fists. Finding a sense of stillness in the outer body so you can really revel and relish the movements of the inner body with the breath. Perhaps a lot more rhythmic, less erratic. Much more conscious. Really noticing that you facilitated that as you bring the unconscious into consciousness, the unconscious breath into conscious breath, how much more valuable it is to you, what you've created with that. Our life is our work of art. And it's really up to us, the colors and the patterns and the tools we paint with. Sometimes we have a blank canvas, we feel stuck with something, we, we feel uninspired. And so simply by receiving the newness of each inhale, the inspiration, the inspire, the spiritas, in a Latin word, spiritas, for breath, that animating, sensitizing, vitalizing aspect of you, 
the newness of that breath, the newness of that moment is enough to open you up to possibility, to reinvigorate and paint your best work of art for that day, that week. Making it your highest offering. One more big full breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, hands under your shoulders. You were there for a wee while, so be quite mindful in your extraction from that shape. Walking your knees together. Pivoting yourself around to the front. Last little bit. It will feel so good. Left knee right to the side of your mat. Femur bone on the diagonal. Supporting yourself however you need. Full in the legs, light and buoyant in the torso. You might even find fingertips can float up. If there's any crunching, any contraction that shortens the possibility, that inhibits the possibility of the breath, the mind. And pitch yourself forwards a little bit. Really support yourself in these nourishing, inspiring decisions. I want them to be sustainable. It's not a one-off gig, this yoga practice, this life. I want to be doing this until we're 99 and three quarters. Well, that's how long my grandfather lived too. That's my aspiration. 99 and three quarters. Daily, nurturing, inspiring, sustainable choices for you. Roll off over to the side of your hip there. Pick up your right leg, drag it round. Give your legs a little wiggle woggle if you need. Bend your legs, come down to lie on your back. Enjoy a few minutes here. It could be a bridge. We haven't done much shoulder opening, but we have definitely opened through the front of the legs. It could be a wheel. be pulsing between the two. Go for what lights you up, for what invigorates you. Anything that's stagnant in your life, consider how you can bring this inspiring, invigorating energy into it. Put it into this shape. Paint with big, bright, buoyant colors and patterns. Your masterpiece, your highest offering. You start to wind your way down, some twists, or just by simply hugging your knees into your chest. This is where I'll leave you, so you can really spend a few quiet moments with yourself, with a few finishing poses, or shavasana, or coming upright into a seated meditation to continue to reaffirm your intent for your work of art. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to be awake and alive. For inspiring yourself. Inspire that in others. Namaste.